You may see these little guys floating around on signs or advertisements. So what are they? They're a fantastic way to share videos, websites, locations, and contact information. And I'll show you how you can make your own. First used in 1994, quick response codes, or QR codes, are the next generation of barcodes. Where barcodes are one-dimensional and contain information linearly, QR codes are two-dimensional and contain information within a matrix, so it can store a lot more data like web links, locations, messages, and contact information. There are tons of web pages out there that will auto-generate QR codes for you. One in particular is BeCurious.com. Here you can generate QR codes that contain links, email addresses, phone numbers, YouTube videos, and a lot more. You can also do specific links to your social media profile pages like Facebook, MySpace, and YouTube. And this graphical tab allows you to upload an image that will be printed onto your QR code. This map tab allows you to link to a location in Google Maps. Now you can download it and put it on business cards, flyers, posters, and so on. Well now you've got a QR code, but how do you see if it works? To read QR codes, you need a computer with a webcam or a cell phone. If you have a computer, you can download this Adobe Air application from my website and run it on any computer. Just download the application and hold a QR code in front of your webcam to scan it. If you have a smartphone, you can generally find a barcode scanner app in the App Store for your specific phone. If you don't have a smartphone, you can see if your phone is supported by the iNigma application and you can use it. So what are some different ways that you can use QR codes? Well obviously they look very impressive on resumes and business cards, but you can also use it as a means of increasing your presence on mobile devices. Using sites like Spotlight, you can generate Facebook like codes for your Facebook page. If you've always wanted to make a mobile site, you can use sites like Paperlink to create a mobile landing page for your site and a QR code that points to it. To track how many people scan your QR code, you can generate a link using goo.gl, Google's URL shortening service. It'll create a QR code for your site, and when people scan it, a graph will be generated showing its analytics. Give it a try and make a QR code for yourself, and if you want, you can share it with me on my website. Alright, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.